Hi, welcome to Quick Licks Weekly. My name's Tom. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at a Mixolydian lick that uses various different techniques. Here it is up to speed. <laughs> As with most of these licks, this can be broken down into two different parts. We're going to start off with an arpeggio which begins on the high E string of the 10th fret. Uh, so we're going to pluck that and then pull off to the uh, 7th. Then we're going to play the 8th fret on the B. Then 7th fret on the G. So. And I'm picking the first note, pulling off to the 2nd. And then it's all one upstroke for the next two. From the seventh fret, I'm going to slide down to the fifth, then return to the eighth fret on the B, then hit the fifth again on the G, and then slide that to the fourth. So the first bit slowly sounds like this. And uh, that section actually ends with the fifth fret on the on the D just to resolve it. So that sounds like this. The second section also starts at the same note. So we're going to slide up slightly just one fret to the fifth fret on the D again. Then fourth and fifth on the G. Then third and fifth on the B. Then we're going to bend up from the 5th to the 6th fret on the B, so it's just a semitone bend. And then we're going to bend up again to the same note and back down. Then we're going to hit the 3rd fret on the B. And holding that note, we're going to hit the 5th fret on the G and then 3rd fret on the high E. So from the quick bend, it sounds like this. And then just to finish it off, we're going to hit the 3rd fret on the B again. And then we're going to end on the 4th fret of the G. The second section slowly sounds like this. Here's the whole thing slowly. Here it is up to speed. Thanks for watching, I really do appreciate you taking the time. If you've enjoyed this lesson then please rate and subscribe for more and I'll see you next week.